And all week we thought we would go sugar-free in our kitchen as well. James is right here. We are talking, James, about refined sugar, aren't we? Exactly yes, that. Yes, the so, white stuff. As you've just said, all this week we're going to be doing lots of recipes all taking out refined sugar right. and using natural sugars, so okay. sugars found in fruit or, for example, today I'm using maple syrup, that kind of thing. Right. Obviously, there's a sugar, a natural content in there, mm. but the refined, what you know as white or brown sugar, right. that's out of it's all of the recipes. Okay. So my task today is breakfast, but before I bang on about breakfast, today we're going to be doing like muesli and a smoothie idea and that right. kind of thing and a, and a simple omelette. Mm. Um, there's some guidelines from the government they say, you know, what is the intake for sugar? Sure. So to kick off, just to show you as an example, yeah. 30 grams of sugar is a recommended daily guideline. And that's it there. And if you take sugar in your tea... I was just you... about to... That yeah. was my next line. Exactly. Some people would put a couple of them in. Of course yeah, you would. You know? sure. Now, um, some things that uh, they, they, they say are really high in sugar as a 100-gram serving is something with 22 grams or more in. So, again, as you can see, it's quite loaded up. But for 100 grams only, that's quite high sugar content. Mm. So for breakfast, you know, one of the most important meals of the day, obviously, you think you, you kick off, you're going to have a cereal, but some cereals can contain 40 grams of sugar that's per serving. A lot. So that's ones like these, Yeah. you know? Yeah. Frost, um, like the sugar-coated items, obviously, that mm. kind of thing. Now, obviously, yes, you think, OK, I'm going to have something healthy, muesli, that kind of thing, yeah. or granola, for example, sure. like I'm doing today, 19 grams of sugar. And as you can see, it's still quite a lot. It is. I think it's really important. I know it's a nuisance, but it's really important to look at something, especially for the kids, and look at how much sugar is in it. If you look at the packet, most of them have got it on it, haven't exactly they? Exactly that. When you think, but it's... sometimes you don't think. Though you're saying you think that's healthy, uh, ex you? And it's more, healthy. Exactly that. And you think how much is in that? And mm. your guidelines: thirty grams. Now my one's got nine grams. Now right. we have to make it differently, though, and this is how we do it. Okay, right. so and there's no, there's none of that funny sugar in it. Not at all. No, so all, all the refined sugar has been taken out. Okay? okay, right. So we've got some uh, rolled oats. Okay. Touch of bran. Bran's optional. Okay, mm -hmm. into that one. Now, what I need to bind everything and help it is here I've melted some down. So, look, you could use peanut butter if it's unsweetened. I'm using almond butter. Right, okay. A touch of vanilla e um, extract for flavour, pure extract, okay. and also a few drops of maple syrup. All oh, right. Okay, okay, so in that goes there. Could you use coconut? Because a lot of people yes, are using yes. coconut oil That's now, a great, that's, that's a brilliant a, number option on this well. one. Okay. Very much so. Right. Right, I'll just clear this lot away okay. now. Um, obviously, it's up to you what you want to put in it, but natural sugars-wise, today I'm using... You could use currants or sultanas. I'm going to use dried apricots, some almonds. Pumpkin seeds are great as okay. well, or you could put pistachios, that kind of thing. Yeah. Touch of cinnamon, that kind of thing, and also some ginger, all right? Okay. So in that goes now. Now, look, James, you're not... You imagine it's at home and all the kids are running around. You don't have time to make this every morning. Can you make a massive big batch? This, is, this recipe yields 15 portions. Oh, fantastic. Last, so you do it... Lasts for three weeks. You could even maybe do it... On the Sunday for the rest yeah, of the yeah, week? Yeah, 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 definitely. So it lasts three weeks. Now, my other binder is egg white. Oh, OK. OK? So in that goes. And all you do is you mix everything up. Right. And basically, you preheat the oven mm -hmm. at 180 degrees, OK? And we just give this all a good mix, just so the dry gets coated with the wet. Sense. And you know exactly what you've put into this. And of Very, course, you can just do it. If the kids don't like a particular thing, don't put it in. But it, if you don't like... Exactly you know, that, exactly. That. And choose your favourites. So onto a baking tray... Whack it into the oven 20 to 25 minutes till it okay. goes golden. Um, halfway through cooking, though, you've got to give it a little stir oh, up. Oh, sure. OK. Oh, in that goes there. Now, obviously, got one done. Lorraine, if you want to dig in. Is it here? Is yeah, it this yeah, it's one? Yeah, right in front of a spoon you. there right now. Another completely non-sugar item. And have you the... put that on top of yoghurt, then? Exactly, mm. yoghurt, but obviously an unsweetened yoghurt, yeah? Mm. So, I've got a couple of eggs here. It's really, really nice. Splash of water, really salt, pepper, mm -hmm. preheated pan... Now, it's a good old omelette. Mm. It's a pretty simple thing to do, obviously. But, uh, you know, if you've got time to make porridge or boil, boil the kettle yeah. for a cup of tea, you can or make you an omelette. you do this at the weekend. Exactly. You can do your omelettes. This is but really lovely, James. It's really good. In that goes. Now, yeah, but you can mm. taste it. It's natural. Now, I think the less sugar that you start to eat, obviously, the less you eat, mm. the less maple syrup you're putting in the future. Exactly. Obviously, that's what I think. If you could stop putting it in your tea, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your sure, I know good it's point. hard, but... Now, look, we're just going to mix the eggs just so they set. Today, I'm using a touch of smoked salmon. Mm -hmm. You could use mushrooms. You mm. could use any leftovers, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We're just going to fold this over. And look, see that? Less than a minute. You're so clever. You've got to this now as well. This is brilliant. Thank okay. you. Now, <laughs> completely sugar-free. <laughs> you have to kick off also over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carrot juice. 
I've got a banana in it, again, natural sugar. Excellent. Um, ginger, OK? Now, oh, ginger, you know, ginger. good health properties, okay. I think, in there. But a bit of that goes in there. And if you wanted to, another mm. weird thing you might think is a bit strange, Need turmeric. A, a pinch of that yes. is now, good for your well-being, yeah? I've been reading that turmeric is this magic new thing that everybody's known about in India for years. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that we've exactly. just discovered it. But a pinch in something like this. Now, this is carrot juice based, but there's more carrot juice, okay. obviously, and less natural sugar with the banana. Banana right. said to thicken it. Give it a blitz up. Mm, this is beautiful. OK, just so it comes up nice and a nice yum, yum, yum. consistency to it, that kind of right. thing. This is Less great. Than a I'm like so a hobbit. Alfred, do you know how hobbits always have two breakfasts? Well, you're going to have three, three. now. Mm. You're going to have three. Mm. So this one, uh, give a smoothie a go. Thank you. I love when you're on. It's great. Mm. Cheers. Mm. That is great. Sweet, but you've got the carrot. You can, you can, and the ginger comes through. And it's so good for you. It's, it's so good it's for nice, you. We're right? sorted.